हेलो एवरीवन सो माय नेम इज रजत एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस प्लेलिस्ट अबाउट पाइथन एंड दिस प्लेलिस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी यूजफुल फॉर एवरीबॉडी हु हैज बीन वर्किंग और हु वांट टू वर्क इन द डेटा एनालिटिक्स फील्ड और वांट टू वर्क इन द वेब डेवलपमेंट फील्ड और एनी ऑफ द अदर फील्ड लाइक डेटा इंजीनियरिंग एंड सो एंड सो सो दिस प्लेलिस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी बेसिक will be starting from the base and it will be going to up okay so anybody who is a student engineering student or any other degree student if you want to learn programming language or especially python so this is the place for you so i would highly encourage all of you to be with me in the session and today's session we are going to be like more introductory about python and give the introduction about python so that will be the focus for the day and the next subsequent session we will be doing the installation uh, and we would be implementing on the python codes uh, from the third session onwards and i will cover each and every aspect of python uh, right from the like control statement whether those are the data structure oops also i will cover and in the last i'll make a, a proper project for you which you can present in your resume also or you want to do for your college project also so i'll help you out there so let's move on without wasting your time and let's start this amazing playlist for python so guys as you can see on the screen that today's session is about the introduction about the python and python is a very versatile language so obviously whenever you are learning something so the first question comes to your mind is that what is that thing what exactly is python so i'll highlight certain things and for if you want to read the whole thing okay i don't want to make it bookish video okay i i will highlight the main things and i'll give you the concept and then i'll save this document on the github so you can download it from there and you can read it at your own you can keep it as your handbook okay so what is python dekhiye python is a high level interpreter based programming language what does it mean high level what is high level language a language which is very much easy for a human to read okay that is high level language and what is interpreter so there are two terms which usually you might have been hearing constantly one is your compiler versus your interpreter okay i'll keep it short so what is compiler compiler basically do the compilation the whole code in single shot and it will uh, convert your code into machine learning code and then it will execute while the interpreter and python is a interpreter based language interpreter do the one by one like line by line interpretation so it will read the line one then it will interpret then line two then line three similarly like that that's why if you see python is bit slower compared to c++ and all that's why python is sometimes slow although it's much more faster than so many language okay so this is the basic thing you need to always answer in such a way that it is a high level interpreter based language which you can Uh, which is basically oops based and also functional programming based so these are the two important thing you need to remember it supports oops also and there is a way it can support the functional programming that means c and c++ both the functionality in single programming language then how you can use this you can use this for web development you can use for data science ai automation and so and so so many things so that is uncountable how many ways we can use this now second question arise obviously why python and there are n number of reasons for using python but the core reason would be ease of use and then versatility and the community support and again it's a open source language for all the companies they can use python for free they just need to pay for the api or the id and the python is totally free but why you should learn python see as a user this is the main reason you should learn because it is the most easy language it's a plain english guys i will tell you in the course very easily and you'll be able to learn it because you don't need to put put that much of effort compared to java and c++ the syntaxes are very friendly moreover like a plain english and the second reason why you should learn it it's because of the community addition and the most important reason i always say we are not doing any charity so the biggest reason to learn python is the number of job in market that is the main reason if you search on nokri.com or wherever you search you will find it and the answer will be there so that's why you should learn python now who should learn python anybody can learn python my answer is that you can 
choose Python as your first programming language also because see, I'll tell you, it's very easy. If you write, let's say, print R. This is plain English, but this is a Python code also. It will print you R. So that's why everybody should learn. A beginner can learn, professional can learn, a data scientist, web development, automation. Anybody can learn. If you have not done any coding as of now, you come with whatever background. You can learn Python with my series. I am assuring you on that. If you stay with me till the end of this whole playlist, you are going to be a game changer for your team wherever it is in your college, in your company. Okay. Now let me make certain pointers very briefly and uh, we'll cover it to the point, like very pointed. Okay. So the history of the Python, Python was created by Guido Van Russo. Okay. In 1989, officially released in 1991. And this is a general purpose programming language. What does that mean? General purpose as in you can use it for so many ways like web development, automation, data science. That's why it's a general purpose. That is the reason it's a general purpose language. It emphasizes readability. That means plain English. It's very easy because see plain English. Anybody can read with basic knowledge of Python. So that's why it's very easy and support multiple program programming paradigms. What does that mean? It supports the object oriented programming also and functional programming also. That's why uh, it's very diversified and very much useful in the industry. Any sector use it like whether it's banking or healthcare, whatever it is. Okay. Then the features of Python, certain more features, easy to use. I covered it already and extensive library support. What does it mean? It means there are so many libraries like pandas, data science for the people in data, data science. This is a life saving library. Similarly, there is numpy, there is scikit-plot, then you have matplotlib and so and so, so many library support you have. Okay. Now setting up the Python environment, there are multiple ways. Okay. So you can download directly from the official website, which is python.org and choose the version depending on when you are downloading it. Like I am making this video on 10th of January, 2025. So I will download whatever the version is present at the moment. Okay. And there are multiple IDs you can use basically. So those are like PyCharm and then you have VS code. And I personally prefer VS code. That is very professional. In many of the company, VS code is being used because it's a Microsoft product. And other than that, Jupyter Notebook is very popular. I will cover Jupyter Notebook installation also for you and then VS code installation for you. So I think that should be more than enough. If you want to use PyCharm or anything else, you can do that. Most welcome. You can ask me question if you have any, definitely I will answer around them. Now, this is a bit about the installation. Use the installation provided on Python org. You can do that depending on the Linux or Mac or it's a kind of a window machine. So mine is a window machine. It's very easy. Okay. Now, ID, ID. Here I was talking about Python ID is a built-in lightweight ID for writing, debugging Python script, which generally we don't use. I would say either go for PyCharm or you can go for Microsoft VS code. And this is my favorite. Then third is obviously Jupyter notebook, but Jupyter notebook is more over fresher, fresher type software guys. Uh, see in many of the company Jupyter notebook is used, but very basic. Okay. If you are going to hardcore machine learning areas and you're going to, uh, like API design. So either you'll see, PyCharm or VS code. I have 12 years of experience into multiple banks and so many friends of mine are working in different companies, but they are using either PyCharm or VS code. This Jupyter notebook is very basic. Okay. Now, uh, the last pointer using ID PyCharm and VS code Jupyter notebook, which I have mentioned here also. So I'll not emphasize on this VS code or these all IDs are basically very versatile. You can choose any of them. Okay. So this is a kind of an introduction about what is Python, why Python and who should learn Python. So now from the next video onwards, uh, we would be touching upon some coding standards and the, the software installation. I will tell you in the next video and then we'll kick gradually. We will start with the basics of it. And then I'll uh, assure you that if you stay with me, you support me, give me your feedback. I'll make you a Python pro by the end of this course. 
Okay, on that note, I am going to uh, stop and I hope this video helped you in a way. And uh, if you have any suggestions, any thoughts, please tell me in the comment section. And if you like the video, so please share it with your friends. Make sure to comment, share and like this video. And you're, if you're coming on my channel for the very first time, so please subscribe to my channel. That really motivates me. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.